Hey guys, welcome to yet another session by Scale. So in this particular session, we're going to look into the comparison of C and Python. And before we move on, please make sure to subscribe to Scale's YouTube channel so that you don't miss our upcoming videos and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. So now let's understand what will be covered. To start off with, we'll be looking into the introduction to C and Python. And after that, we will be looking into the comparison of C and Python. We'll be understanding the various differences between these two languages. And that basically will be the end of the session. But if you want to learn more about C and Python, check out Interview Bits blog, which is available in the description box below. You can click on it and it'll take you to the blog. And you can learn more about C and Python over there. So now let's begin with the session. Okay guys, let's start with the video. So it's basically the comparison of C and Python. I hope everything is clear. So now let's just start. So first let's understand what is C. So C was a programming language which was developed at Bell Labs by Dennis Ritchie between the years 72 and 73, 1972 and 1973. It's one of the most, it's one of the oldest general purpose languages of all time and also it was developed to construct utility running on Unix and it was applied to re-implement the kernel of the Unix operating system. So to be very simple, if you're using a Mac system or if you're using an Android or if you're using uh, a Linux operating system in your laptop, so you are guided or you are somehow using C program in your usage because Android, right? Android uses Linux and Linux is written using C. So Linux, basically not Linux, Unix is written using C. And Linux is a, a, a version of Unix later. Unix is the main principles which is being followed. So even the kernel, the, right, the complete kernel is written using uh, C. Most of the kernels are written completely using C. And uh, yeah, so if you're using Mac, again, Mac is also a form of a Unix operating system. So in that case as well, uh, C is used. So C is basically widely used even though you don't use it directly even though you code in python or you code in java you somehow use c in your daily life so in the modern world c finds its application in the development of a number of firmware and portable systems c systems uh, supports a plethora of features like supported uh, sorry structured programming lexical variable scope recursion uh, with a static type system etc so it basically supports a lot of different uh, features so uh, again like structured programming which is basically a set of structures which gets followed throughout the entire execution of a program lexical variable scope recursion static type system so this uh, basic intro to c i hope it's clear it was created by dennis ritchie one of the oldest programs used in unix widely coming to the key features of c so it's a structured program it's a structured language so it's easy to learn so basically you know how exactly the program is structured the only thing you'll have to alter is the logic which you're going to enter in the program second it is an efficient programming language so basically it's really really fast and it provides a really good performance as it's a compiled language it's not an interpreted language it's a compiled language and due to that it provides you a really fast uh, experience while you're coding in it and it's highly portable and extensible programming language because it is not tied to any hardware or system. Any code written in C can be run on any machine which supports C without modifying a single line of code. So in certain cases, in uh, modern programming languages, due to the need of dependencies and libraries, the need to change or tweak the code in different systems is required. But in C, it's not required. You will have to basically just use the compiler C compiler, if the C compiler is available in the system, it can run without having to make any changes to the code. Number four, so it has a set of built-in op uh, operators and libraries with functions. So it already has a lot of functions and libraries. Again, it's not as, uh, if you compare it with Python, it's not as big as that. But again, it already has a lot of built-in operators and libraries, which are pretty, pretty good. And uh, finally, C is a model language. That is, it emphasizes on separating the functionality of a program into independent, interchangeable modules, such that each contains everything necessary to execute only one aspect of the desired functionality. Yeah. So uh, coming back, it's a modular language in the sense you can 
compile or you can basically split the code which you are writing into different modules you don't have to write it in a single stretch you can compile uh, basically make it into different modules you can make it into modular parts so each part would be an independent uh, module which will get executed by itself but if there is a dependency on another uh, function then there would be then it won't compile until it gives out an output or an input to it but other than that they will execute individually so these are the key features and this is the introduction to C. Now moving on to Python. So Python again is one of the most promising languages of the upcoming times even though Python is a pretty old language for example it was released first in 1991 and if you compare it to C it it is just uh, like 20 years later it's not even that new python is not a really uh, new language it's, it's pretty old so if you take now it's been around 31 years now right so it's uh, a successor to the abc language it's a general purpose high level language and also one of the most striking features of python is its indentation so in c you will have to provide a semicolon but in python you don't have to do that because you'll have to use an indentation that is you'll have to give out a tab or a space to emphasize that it's a different line of code or it is basically under a particular function or under a particular loop so you will have to provide that and using indentation you can emphasize and it basically increases code readability it looks much simpler and much easier on the eye so it's much easier to read but again that also leads to certain complications because one space could be the entire problem in your code and then python supports a lot of programming paradigms for example uh, object oriented functional structured so as it is a high level programming language so as any high other high level programming language python also supports multiple paradigms obviously object oriented programming classes and objects uh, functional programming and also structured programming and finally python is dynamically typed and garbage collected so C is statically typed, but Python is dynamically typed and garbage collected. So in this case, you don't have to free memory. It automatically does it for you. It automatically uh, it does garbage collection for you. It's like uh, similar to Java. Uh, yeah. So differences to C we'll see later. But let's understand what's Python. Okay. Now looking at key features. Yeah. So Python is very simple readable open source programming language which is easy to learn so because most of the things is very very straightforward in python um, there are lots of libraries which are provided to you you can just directly use them to write code and then it's an interpreted language not a compiled language third it's a, it supports the object oriented programming model thus it's a pretty good obviously oops is one of the best programming models available and yes python supports it and then it's platform independent so you can basically extend it and it's embedded it it could be embeddable for a lot of uh, different use cases yeah it's pretty extensible so for example you can use it uh, data science uh, machine learning deep learning so all of the artificial intelligence subsets in data science uses python you can use python for them you can use it for uh, web development there is django there is flask there are frameworks like that you can use python for web development you can use python for scripting you can use python as a backend language so python is pretty extensible you can use it for so many different purposes it has a huge standard library with lots of modules and packages which support a lot of common and important functionalities python has one of the largest communities on stack overflow and meetup so one more thing is that python already has a lot of libraries which are available so basically these libraries right they are already pre-coded you can just directly use them to do a certain task so you don't have to code uh, a particular task which could be uh, which could be just used from the uh, library itself but again if you want to make changes to it obviously you'll have to hard code it you'll have to type it by yourself but again if you just uh, let's say if 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 the built-in function is more than enough then you can directly go for it and then it has a huge standard library with lots of modules and packages which support a lot of common and important functionalities uh, okay so and the final point is python is a high level language as it is easy to use because of simple syntax powerful because of its rich libraries and extreme uh, extremely versatile so as i already told you it's extremely versatile because it could be used in so many different fields and also it's very very simple syntax uh, you just need to use indentation you just have to give out tabs you just you don't need to use uh, semicolons and also it's very very powerful but even though it's comparatively a slower language but it's very very powerful because of its rich libraries you can there are so many different libraries you can import it 
it gives you so many uh, uh, different um, methods of solving the same problem and also it's extremely versatile again i've told already about this point so now let's start with the comparison of c and python so c versus python first of all looking at the programming model c is a procedural programming language python is an object oriented language so c does not allow object oriented principles type of language middle level language because it basically bridges the gap between a machine level and a high level language but it's still not a high level language uh, that's that's uh, what c is but python is a high level language as the translation of python code takes place in machine language using an interpreter speed obviously c is much much faster than python uh, again as python is interpreted so interpreter in the sense every single line will be taken into account and will be uh, looked into so that basically slows down the process of uh, compiling and so in this case it's interpretation right so it's much slower than c looking at compilation and interpretation so c is a compiled language python interpreted programming language special programs known as compilers check the c code line by uh, line by line and if any error is found on any line the program compilation stops then and there but in python special programs known as interpreters check the entire python code and all the errors in the entire python code is reported at once this is the problem if for example in c right if one line has any problem it gets reported immediately and if there is no errors it it basically runs it successfully but in python if it checks the entire program and then it reports all the errors at once and because of this it takes a lot of time to report it back variable declaration in c all of the variables must be declared when they are created and only values of those particular types must be assigned to them for example if you are creating an integer you will have to mention int if you are creating a character if you will have to create uh, let's say a float you will have to mention uh, double so if you are basically whenever you are creating a variable you will have to mention the the data type but in python you don't have to do that it's untyped you can directly provide a variable and provide a value to it for example you can provide a number equal to uh, 3.14 so it will automatically be considered as a float so like that you can provide the values automatically and it will automatically consider it as a variable uh, you don't have to declare anything before doing it a given variable in python can store values of different data types in different parts of the python code for example you are creating number you can convert the variable into another type as well or you can use the same variable in order to store another type of uh, data as well so that could be possible in python right Finally, looking at pointers, C supports pointers, Python doesn't. Robustness, C is less robust, but Python is more because of its strong memory management schemes. In Python, you don't have a garbage collector, but in Python, you do. Now, coming to memory management, in memory management, in C, it has to be done manually, but in Python, it doesn't have to be. Everything is automatically handled because a garbage collector is already provided. But again, if you have to tweak some things in garbage collector, you'll have to do it manually, but that needs a lot of effort because it's a operating system level process. Okay, so these are basically the differences between C and Python. I hope everything is clear. It's a pretty simple, uh, sorry um, yeah so these are the differences between c and python so i think everything is clear it's a pretty simple way of understanding uh, the differences between two languages even though c and python are a little uh, so c is a different kind of language python is a different kind of language but it's still a commonly asked question that's why we wanted to make this video finally looking at the last two differences usage of data structures so in this case data structures like stacks queues you will have to implement on your own that is basically you will have to write the code for them you will have to write how exactly a stack works how exactly a queue works by yourself but when it comes to python there is a library which you can directly use there is numpy there is pandas you can directly import uh, these functions and use stacks queues uh, heaps trees graphs directly you don't have to hard code them that's one big advantage in python that's why it's heavily used in data science finally function units so in this case in c the functions the small methods which are getting created they are called functions in python they are called objects because it's an object oriented programming language so i hope everything is clear right so comment down what language do you think is better c or python or whatever language you're using right now if you're using any other language it's fine but comment down which do you think is a better language in these two c versus python thank you meet you in another session